people of God, help me to shout hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I have been watching um, a, the kingship television and I decided to start worshipping here. Some weeks back I saw one girl, she came to testify. She was saying that she was tormented by unemployment for two years. I just looked at her and laughed. I was sitting somewhere there. I just laughed. I said, two years and you're complaining of employment. People of God, I've spent seven good years of my life unemployed. I have cried. I prayed. I moved from one church to another. Most pastors know me. Some even advise me that pastor. Just be patient with God. He will answer your prayer. On Sunday, my sister was delivered here, and I said, I will try and come. I've been trying to watch the program, but I do not know when to really come and see the man of God personally. So on Monday, I came. Before leaving my house, my friend in Boya just called me that I should prepare my documents so that I would go and deposit. So I was moving along with my documents. When I was talking to the man of God, I really pleaded. I said, man of God, after seven years of graduation, I'm sitting on my uh, certificate. No job, nothing. I'm just looking at places. Every day I will sit in my room and cry. My younger brother will help me. Everybody will help me. Today, while the service was going on, I had to put on a jean because I have prayed since Monday. I said, Lord, whatever demon that is in me, I am praying. I want that demon to be out today. That is why I put on a jean trouser. That the man of God must see me. He must deliver me from any demon that is holding my documents. And I was even, when I came here, I decided to sit right in front. That the uh, man of God was looking at me. Wait, 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 was, wait, wait. So, uh, uh, God help you. Yes. That means today I must deliver you. If you don't sleep at me today, if you don't remove that demon that is in me today, I will slip it on that altar. I will not leave this church today. I was just talking to myself like that. I will not leave this place. But behold, as God can do his thing. When, when I always come to church, my phone is always off. But today, I decided to put it on vibration. When the man of God was going around, he was moving around the crowd, my phone ran. I saw it was the director of the um, school that I attended this December. He called me, I just turned it off and wrote a, a, sent a text message that I'm in church, I'll get back to you later. He got back to that my friend, that my friend that I invited to come to kingship here. He got back to her because we attended the same school and said she should get to me. That there is a company in Duwala that needs four staff. And he has written our, uh, the two of us our names. So tomorrow we should meet him in his office. When I got that message, I said this church from here today. I got up immediately. I ran outside. I said, where is the testimony uh, place? Let me go outside my name. I said, I must talk. I cannot stay with this testimony. People of God, I want to tell all of you that it is not by chance that you people are here. It is not a mistake. Whoever is here by faith and you believe that what